Campaigners say time is running out to save one of the British film industry's most iconic buildings in central London. Plans have been submitted. 20th Century House in Soho, where filmmakers and crew oversaw the production of blockbusters including Star Wars, Alien and Chariots of Fire. Charlotte Cross is more. That iconic music, synonymous with some of the film industry's best-loved titles. And for decades, this building was home to those who made them. It's a little piece of Hollywood in London. And in fact, decisions you would have assumed were made in Hollywood were made here. The decisions for Star Wars and Alien and Chariots of Fire were made in this building behind me. Involvement in blockbusters like this helped Britain's film industry boom, with British producers, sound engineers and crews seeing their work pay off come awards time. Chariots of Fire! But now, 20th Century House in Soho has been earmarked for demolition. Film producer Colin Vaines is among those campaigning for the plans to change. The building has tremendous resonances and connections for people in the British film industry and generally in the entertainment business as well. Out of this building has come not only publicity and distribution, so on, but they've had very serious you know, production issues of it have, have been done as well. The owners, Royal London, want to keep some of the facade but turn the building into offices, shops and restaurants. Now only a few small clues remain, hinting at the magic which used to happen inside. From my perspective, this building is important historically because of what happened inside the building. Um, and the facade retention doesn't really retain its historical significance. We would like Royal London to withdraw its application for demolition immediately and work with the community to find a tenant for the building and refurbish the building. Royal London has been asked for comment. In the meantime, Westminster City Council's public consultation on the plan closes tomorrow. Charlotte Cross, ITV News. The Royal Festival Hall is celebrating its 70th birthday today. Although closed during the pandemic, performances will start up again at the end of the month with poet Theresa Lola commissioned to write a piece to mark the occasion.